I love the Raspberry Pi. My channel started with doing content with the Pi 2 and 3 uh, so many years back, and I really loved the single board computer. Everything you could do with it, putting different builds, operating systems, uh, retro pie, coin ops, playing a bunch of retro games on this thing. It's an emulation machine, man. Back when the Pi 2 and 3 was out and you could get a, a you know, a little single board computer for 25, 35 bucks and just play tons of games on it on the cheap was amazing. And when the Pi 4 came out, you know, it's continued with that. It's, it's a little more capable, right? I really love this thing. You know, all the different things we could do with it. Use it to go online with your Dreamcast, get your Dreamcast set up to play some like Fantasy Star Online. That's sweet, but it's been a little while since I've looked at a starter kit. And the Raspberry Pi Foundation, I believe earlier this year, they talked about the constraints, the issues that they were having with uh, you know chip shortages and whatnot. And the, the Pi 4 suffered from that. A lot of scalpers out there reselling them for hundreds of dollars. I've, you know, for a while, I was seeing Pi 4 eight gigabyte models for like $300. MSRP is 75 bucks for this uh, single board computer. And I've noticed it's starting to ease up a little bit. The Pi Foundation did say that it should be, you know, good in 2023 sometime. Like they shouldn't have these issues anymore. And I've noticed looking around uh, Micro Center, you could find Pi 4s, the various versions of them for retail. But a lot of other places online that are legit resellers, they're sold out. But hopefully, you know, sooner than later, that'll ease up. I, I absolutely love this stuff. So this company, Mars Study, uh, they sent me their Pi 4 starter kit. It's an eight gigabyte model. And I wanted to look at it. You know, I know what a Pi 4 can do. We're going to play some games on it, show you what you can do with this thing. But also at the same time, look at the value that you're getting in this box, comparing it to what things should cost and today's climate, that kind of thing. But let's go ahead and get into this and see what, they, uh, what they're what they giving us here, right? So we have a Pi 4 8 gigabyte model, MSRP, 75 bucks, right? I'll tell you the price on this in a second, uh, this whole kit. Uh, premium case right here, Pi 4, premium case from these guys. I believe it's their version. Um, feels a little, a little thin, a little, a little thin, but similar to the uh, official Pi 4 case, but it does have some ventilation for a fan where the official one doesn't. But normally like these cases are like eight bucks or so. Um, but yeah, so there's that. There's also a few other things in this box. We have a fairly standard fan, some heat sinks, a USB micro SD card reader with USB-C and uh, what I like to call regular USB. So a uh, versatile little thing. And then a SanDisk Ultra 64 gigabyte micro SD card, typically between eight to $10 for this card. Uh, it, this one does have a Pi OS installed on it. And then we also get from them their power supply. Let's take a look at that real quick. Make sure it's, it's the proper uh, specs. Yes, five volt, three amps, so we should be good. They do have an inline power switch, which um, in my opinion can be extremely useless, but also extremely useful if you use it correctly. Uh, not my preferred setup. I like having something plugged into the GPIO on the Pi to be able to use an, an external switch to power it on and off because this just cuts power. It doesn't shut down your system or anything. So I like using a script with something attached to the GPIO. So use this responsibly, whatever operating system, whatever front end, shut it down within the software and then power it off. Don't just be like, oh, I'm done for the day. Let me power it off. You might corrupt some stuff, but there you go. Uh, power supplies, uh, you, you know, usually like eight, 10 bucks or so, right? And then we do get right here, they gave us two HDMI, micro HDMI. That's what the Pi 4 uses, kind of sucks. I hate that, but they gave us two of them. Official ones, you can get two Pi branded ones for 15 bucks. So, hey, keep that in mind. So this whole kit here looks like we've got like a little starter pamphlet, not an actual book. It'd be nice if they gave like a little book but just how to get things going. So I'm gonna get all this set up, but kind of talk about the pricing here. So this kit, they sell it on Amazon for $185. They do currently have a $10 off coupon, making it 175 bucks. Is that worth it? Taking a look at everything we get here. Now, if you break it down by MSRP, 
all the items that, you know, came in this kit, like comparable options for some things, but just kind of an average, you're looking at $124 if you can get the Pi 4 at MSRP. On Amazon, Pi 4s, 8 gigabyte models are going for like 100 bucks. I'm against that. They're $75. That's how much they should be. But these companies, they see the demand, they see the, the lack of supply, so they up their price. $100 on Amazon for a Pi 4 8 gigabyte should be 75 bucks, right? Now, I did notice this company, Mars Study, <laughs> they actually sell their fan, the power supply, and the case separately for $15, but they have a 20% off coupon. So with that 20% off coupon, you're getting that, that kit for $12. So that's coming with most of the stuff that came here, minus the Pi, minus the uh, HDMI cables and the SD card. If you go that route and you just buy that and then you buy a Pi 4 and the other items you need, you're going to be at about $122. So kind of seems a little weird to me like hey they're selling this whole kit for 185 175 bucks but if you could source everything separately even if you buy a pi 4 on amazon for a hundred dollars you're still saving like 50 bucks 40 to 50 dollars my math may be slightly off uh, but you're saving a little bit of money even paying more for the pi 4 versus these kits so for me with a kit it's always like hey there should be value in it. Like you're buying a bundle to, it's convenient. You don't have to source everything separate. But the item should like come at like a slight discount to make it worthwhile, in my opinion. That's what a bundle should be. Like this is a starter kit. It should be, you know, discounted on some stuff here, but it's not. The 175 to 185 dollars. And in my opinion, I, I would not buy this. Uh, I would not buy this kit. I would possibly source everything separate. Maybe their little $15, $12 kit that comes with the fan case and power supply, because that's a pretty good deal. Uh, the case isn't too bad. I mean, it's a little cheaper look, uh, feeling and looking than the official one. And there's tons of case options out there, but this thing's nice with having access to the GPIO, having that fan, um, access with the, uh, the ventilation so the fan can dissipate heat and whatnot. So it's a nice little kit on that side of things at a very reasonable price. But yeah, it's just kind of hard to recommend a, a, a kit like this. In this climate, it's actually one of the cheaper kits that you can find on Amazon. So I guess that counts as something, but you could still source everything separately on Amazon for cheaper. So it doesn't count for much, in my opinion. If this was like a year ago, maybe a year and a half, two years ago, I would maybe think it was a little more worth it, but with the supply constraints easing up, yeah, I, I mean, to each their own. Uh, I appreciate that they sent this to me. It's a decent little setup and kit, but I just don't see the, uh, the, the value there with how much they're charging for it. That's just my opinion. Gotta keep it real here. But yeah, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.